The University of Exeter has helped the developers of a groundbreaking energy system to prove beyond doubt the product's efficacy and to move it forward to the cusp of commercial viability. Hi, my name is Mary Wickett. I'm the Managing Director of WIT Energy Limited. WIT stands for Whatever Input to Torsion Transfer and it is a transmission system that collects chaotic motion and turns it into usable power and has uses in human, marine, wind, animal, vehicle motion. As a small company, uh, WIT Energy has struggled to get people to listen about a new technology. Um, Sarah Ward from Exeter University came to visit us with um, one of the top people in Plymouth Marine Laboratory and also Dr Lars Johanning, uh, who is one of the key people in the West Country in renewable energy. Dr Ward immediately recognised the commercial potential of the WIT for the South West setting to work networking with other academics and organisations in the region. The Wickets were soon getting dozens of phone calls and emails, as well as invitations to talk about their system. The most fruitful of these was at the University of Exeter. After the three-minute presentation the Wickets gave, Professor Steve DeMora, CEO of Plymouth Marine Laboratory, invited them to test the system in sea trials. Within 10 days, the WIT had been out there three times on the laboratory test vessel, the Quest. WIT Limited may be an SME, but the Wickets passionately believe their technology has global potential. They have successfully applied for patents and plan to license the WIT to large multinational technology companies. Martin and Mary are now in discussion with two major organisations based in the Southwest, Supercat and A&P Group which they hope will result in the wit being advanced to commercial viability.